Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. In this logo design tutorial, we will design this logo by using a sketch in Adobe Illustrator. So first of all, let's continue with the sketching process. And once the sketching is done, I simply took a picture from my mobile and imported it in my personal computer. Then in Adobe Illustrator, first of all, go to File and select New. Then select the unit to pixels and set the width of page to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels and select OK. And now we have to place the image of our sketch. For this purpose, simply go to File and select Place. Then select the location where you have saved your image, then simply double click on it. Then hold down your left mouse button at this intersection point of the page and drag it towards this intersection point like this. And your image will be placed. Now if you are lazy like me and do not want to draw a new sketch and want to practice with the same one, then you can download the same image by using the link given in the description. And for the purpose of ease, I have highlighted all the center points of the circles. Now simply go to Windows and select Transparency. Set the value of Opacity to 40% and select Enter. Now minimize this panel. Again go to Windows and select Layers. Then click on this drop down menu and here we have the image layer. Simply click on this black square and your image movements will be locked. Now select the ellipse tool and drag your mouse cursor towards the center of this circle. Hold down the alternate and shift key then hold down your left mouse button and drag your mouse up to this point like this. Now it doesn't need the solid color so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and assign it some stroke color or you can say a boundary color from this menu like this red color and set the value of stroke to 25 points and press enter now drag your mouse at this center point again hold down the alternate and shift key then hold down your left mouse button and drag your mouse up to this point like this Now simply press Z on the keyboard to select zoom in and out tool and zoom in this area like this. Then again select the ellipse tool and move your mouse cursor towards this center point. Again hold down the alternate and shift key and also left mouse button and drag your mouse like this. Now select the selection tool then select all of these parts and then select the shape builder tool. And now we will delete the unwanted parts by holding down the alternate key and left clicking on the part like this. Also for this one, this one and this one. And for the useful parts we will simply release the alternate key and only left click on the parts like this. Now again select the selection tool, select these two upper parts, go to windows and select pathfinder and select Unite. Now simply minimize this panel, select both of these parts, right click and select Group. Now simply go to Edit and select Copy. Again go to Edit and select Paste in front. Now hold down your left mouse button on the duplicated copy and also hold down your Shift key and drag it in a straight line like this. Then select the reflect tool and double click on it and set the value to vertical and select OK. Then select the selection tool and to drag it in a straight line, hold down your left mouse button, then hold down the shift key on your keyboard and drag it up to this point like this. 
now select the pen tool click once at this position then hold down your left mouse button at this position and drag your mouse cursor like this now hold down the alternate key on your keyboard and left click at this anchor point now move your mouse cursor at this position hold down your left mouse button and move your mouse cursor like this and now to complete the shape simply press enter on the keyboard now again select the selection tool left click on this part right click and select ungroup also on this one right click and select ungroup now select all of these parts go to object go to path and select outline stroke then in the pathfinder menu simply select unite now to reset the page view press control plus zero on the keyboard now again go to windows and select layers and to hide the image layer simply select on this icon like this and now it's time to write the name of the logo so simply select the type tool left click on the page and you can see that the size of the text is not readable so simply select the selection tool hold down the shift key then hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag it like this again select the type tool and simply write the name of the logo which is best fly and now if you want to change the font then simply write its name like i want to change the font to nexa bold then select only this best part again write the name nexa and this time select nexa like then select all of the alphabets click on this character menu and increase the spacing between the alphabets to 200 points and press enter then select the selection tool select both of these parts go to align menu and select horizontal align center like this and now if you want to increase the size of the text then simply select it with the left click hold down the alternate and shift key then hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag it like this and now we are done with today's logo design tutorial now if you want to suggest any modifications or want to share your thoughts about the design that whether you liked it or not then you can share in the comments section and if you think that this video helps you in some way then like and subscribe the channel thanks for watching and have a nice day